effective recruiter. And even though that word is quite hard sometimes to understand when we are sharing about the business. So help me welcome. Some slides to uh, make just it. before that, I'll do something else. Awesome. So, Let me know when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, how are you enjoying the training today? Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, so um, um, before I do the recruiting part, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, the product itself. Yes. Uh, what I do in my, in my um, uh, chatting with people and how we, how we get people interested. So um, I'm going to talk about how this uh, antioxidant work and how, how it uh, work with our body. Uh, we all know that uh, everybody is asking, do you have a testimony on this? Do you have a testimony on that one? Can you send me this? Can you send me that? Can this person use this? Can that person use that? Right? So we are always getting all these uh, uh, information. However, um, I just tell people that um, you don't even have to ask because what happens is no matter whether somebody has a prostate issue or they have a hair loss or they have some joint pains, everything comes down, comes back to the cells, how healthy the cells are. If the cells are oxidized, um, free radical stress uh, damage or whatever it happens, then it accumulates in our body into a problem. So that's how, that's why I start with, let's say, <clears throat> hope uh, you can see it from far. So everything in our body, whether it's joints or blood, or whether it is, um, whether it's uh, your hair, your finger, nails, everything, they are all made of cells. And these cells, they, um, they have similar structure. So this, this is going to be very technical, so uh, be patient with it, okay? But you just get a general idea. Then you can relate on how, how you understand how it works with the body, how it uh, affects our, our health. So everything in our body is made of cells, and the cells, they, uh, they have a general formation, and how it's composed. Now, we all know that it has its own um, we call this cellular membrane. membrane. The cellular membrane, and then the interior is. Sorry. Oh, thank you. For screen, you need to stand up. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's a different here. Okay. I get it. <laughs> okay, so so when when we when we uh, have this cellular structural build up. The interior is more of molecules, molecule build up, and in the in the in the very center is the nucleus. Okay, the nucleus is the core of the cell, and the inside the nucleus are two major things. Number one is the mitochondria. Mitochondria is the is the furnace, is the energy plant of the cells. So it generates ATP. ATP with uh, glucose and uh, oxygen. So when they burn, it generates energy. That's how you can play tennis. Okay. <laughs> so when you run around, or even your metabolism, everything in our body, you need this uh, uh, metabolic uh, function to generate the energy. If you're more comfortable, you can go back to the other yeah. side. Okay. So, okay. So when you do that, um, so this is a very important part of the cell. Now the other thing is. We have this uh, chromosomes, or we call DNA, the DNA, DNA. DNA. That is the chromosome that uh, make our cells how healthy it is. With healthy and normal, it will split in general about 2.4 years. The cells they they um, they split. So it takes about uh, uh, the whole body to generate a new system of cells every 2.4 years. So over our life, we generate, uh, let's say the cells, God designed the, the, the cells to be able to uh, divide 50 to 60 times 
in our lifetime. So in that case, when we do that, if you if 2.4 times 50, you live to 120. If it does uh, 60 times, then you live to 150. Okay, so hopefully we can all live longer with the function of life. Of <laughs> okay, do you know the average lifespan of the, let's say the African countries right now? Do you know the lifespan? Uh, the life expectancy. Yeah, different countries, so, so uh, in, in most countries, the average should be around, uh, actually, uh, right now it's actually around 50 something, 51. Um, in India, in in China, in China, in in 1960, people live only 43. Wow, 43 is an average lifespan. So then they progress to uh, to 50 to 60. Now is 76. The whole country, average. But in some good, uh, the big cities. Uh, the good quality, life quality places, they live to 82.3. And that is similar to the average lifespan of Canada. So Canada will live with the whole country, we average to be 82. And in Japan, people live to 83 something average. So they are the highest uh, in the world. So when they average that, then a lot of people live beyond 90, 95, even 100. Okay, so in Japan there are a lot of uh, people that age uh, later. So how uh, how we actually in, uh, before that uh, it's about 37 even in China in the uh, in the old times. So now see the difference between 37 to 83, 82. There's a big difference in the way how our life improved in the past. 30, 40, 50 years. So now, why do we why do we not live to 120 to 150 as yet? <laughs> the reason being that we are always exposed to the attacks, right, from the universe, right. from whatever it is, uh, accidents, uh, pollution, stress, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, chemicals, pesticides. Uh, genetically modified food, so many different things that are attacking our body from the cellular level. So when they attack the, 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 our body from the cells, they start from the membrane, which is like the skin of the, of the cell. So when they start from the, uh, the membrane of the cell, this, the membrane is also made of molecules. And the molecules are made of atoms. So if you if you um, if you understand the power of nuclear weapons, atomic bomb, because these are the smallest matter in the universe. When they explode, they become really powerful. That's why nuclear weapons are uh, a very very scary uh, weapon. So the atoms, they are the smallest matter in the universe. These atoms, they carry this we call a positive and negative ion or electrons. So the paired Electrons, they, they go together, it's, uh, so usually they carry about, let's say, four pairs, positive and negative, positive and negative. So, so these are almost like a, like, a, like a nuclear family or a family living together, grandpa, grandma, father and, uh, and a mother, and then boyfriend, girlfriend. So this, they, 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 they live in clusters, and when they live together like this very happily, until one day, a drunk driver hit the red light, mm. right? So it, it kills one of the pairs. So it, it causes the loss of electron to the to the to the to one of the atoms, and the, the, the loss of it usually, let's say, the negative one, the positive and negative. So if you lose one, then the other one becomes single, right? So when they are single, they are free. When they are free. They are supposed to get a lot of pair one, pair one. So they will be going to get to grab ones from somewhere, but sometimes it's not so easy. So they they kind of go out and go to the clubs and in different places. <laughs> so when they when they do that, they they they. Um, We're talking from experience. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> if they find a suitable one, maybe they settle down for some time. Yeah. But usually, 
<laughs> Usually, if you are married, stay with your marriage. Please. Sometimes, <laughs> because when you when you when you get a new girlfriend or, or, or wife, you usually compare with the older one. You say, oh, my other one does this better than that better. So anyway, I don't know so what you mean. Kind of, they kind of jump around. They say, I don't like this one anymore. I'll find a lot of them. Maybe I can eventually find one that's more similar to my wife before. So now when this happens, they, these ones we call, they become free, free radical free. So they are radicalized. They become they become very uh, um, uh, uh, outrageously active. Aggressive. So when they go out and uh, be aggressive, then they even, they find, he, they might say, oh, I like his wife better. Oh. <laughs> so that causes the more problem. When they, when they grab that one, and this one becomes a free radical. So he's, he might be fighting with, the, with him to fight to get back, but he might lose the war, and then he, he starts the same over. thing again. So this is called free radical cascading effect, which means it's like a rolling, rolling effect. It causes so if if this damage accumulates to be a million, five million, ten million, then that's when you see an acne, when you see a pimple, when you see a small little thing in our body in the damage. So when that happens, uh, it, it starts to 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 create a problem, and these membranes of the cell is made of all these molecules with the free radical cascading damage, then we open up holes. No. That's when the new, the, the, the drunk driver, they can hit right into the, into the in interior, in, uh, which includes our DNA. So when they bite and cut off the DNA uh, protecting the telomere, then the DNA starts to uh, have what we call mutation. When they are mutated, um, then this duplication is not normal anymore. So it starts to duplicate. It's like a photocopier. If you have a clean paper, a copy uh, pretty good for a while, and then it starts to get uh, fuzzy and finally totally black. Yeah. Same thing with this. So when they are damaged, you copy from the bad to worse, and then eventually it's, it's totally uh, damaged and changed. So this. Uh, so when this uh, when this uh, uh, DNA is uh, is damaged, then it starts to cause. Um, usually, when they are damaged, we, we the, the body has a process called apoptosis, which means the programmed cell death. The cells, when they are damaged, they're mutated. They are supposed to die. It's like you you order this person that are handicapped to to go away, but sometimes they refuse to go. They said, okay, before I go, I might still want to make some kids. So then they, 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 they make some new cells, but with the wrong coded yeah. formation. Mm -hmm. So when that happens, it causes, uh, causes uh, uh, something like a, a, what we call a mass in our body. When you feel, that's when somebody, they say, um, why do I feel this numb? Why do I feel this uh, difficulty swallowing food? And then you go to see the doctor, the doctor has to find out more. So they do the MI, MI, CT scan to find out what is the problem. Uh, if, if they find, if they, the scan shows there is a fluid inside, then we call that a cyst. Mm -hmm. If it's a fatty, fatty stuff, fat inside, then they call it a fatty pocket or something uh, that's not bad enough. But if they find it is uh, a, a very hard muscle-like uh, tissue with the blood vessel activity, they call it vascular activity, the blood flow. The blood comes in, goes out, comes in, goes out. Then they call it, uh, because it's a wrong coated mass, then they call that um, uh, cancer. Cancer. Oh. That's a big word. Yeah. So this is, a, this is a, the process of how, because what happens is, Let's say you, on a sunny day, you drive your car into the uh, Gonkan Park, right? You go there and then you say, okay, I like this big park. It's so quiet. There's no pollution. There's no traffic. There's nothing here. I like it here. You, you anchor down and then build a little hut for yourself. You sneak out to buy some food. And you live there for 10 years, maybe 20 years. Nobody finds and you are okay. But if you are like a big um, billion dollar investor and you say, oh, I like that, uh, I like that big uh, park. 
Uh, let, let me, uh, let's buy that land and then we make 500,000 houses to sell for money. Now that's when the government jumps in. They say, oh, you're not supposed to do that. You have to, you have to uh, get a permit for that. So that's when they apply, they get a permit and, and, and all of that. The government said you need to build highways, freeway, TDC and everything, uh, even community centers. Center office maybe, even uh, you have to map out everything before we can approve you for building that. And that's, so they will go do everything to qualify for that permit to get that done. So when that, when that happens, um, eventually if the government give the final go ahead, then this place is going to start building the highway, freeway, TDC, all the infrastructure. And when that happens is this place is made to grow, mm -hmm. right? So that's when we call this cancer can grow bigger. Because when it's, when it's uh, just a small little thing here, a lot of people die with uh, old people. They die with cancer in the body. They die of something else. Mm -hmm. They have a heart attack or something else, uh, uh, whatever, before the cancer uh, becomes a big deal, a big problem, because they are too small. So if the cancer cell is just like uh, about a one centimeter big, then it's supposed to be um, uh, almost undefinable. Undefin uh, the doctors uh, will not find you, you don't feel it, nothing happens, so you live with it for a long time, maybe 20, 30, until even we die. But if, if this one happened to build the, 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 which is the blood vessels, when they build it to be about two centimeters big, that's when we actually uh, uh, start to have symptoms. That's when you say, oh, why do I see red, redness in the urine? That's when people, let's say, start uh, having bleeding in the bladder, in the kidney, or in somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's when, when we realize it, the problem uh, starts to grow. Now, if this becomes bigger, then the blood communication starts to, to, to flow faster. With tiny, it's almost a mini, mini, mini blood vessel. With bigger than the blood, because in this one, all, all the bad cells, even if they, they are in there, but they don't, they only, they only in a few escape. Now, um, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the bad cells, they escape, we actually have, we call NK cells, natural killer cells, that would be sniping them. They kill them, one by one by one, and we keep a balance until one day the, this one grows big and the blood volume starts to flow faster. So 100, 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, until maybe a million more mm. goes out, then the, the natural killer cells or our white blood cells start to lose the energy to, uh, to kill them. They, they can't handle that anymore. And that's when, when all these bad cells, they go out and they say, oh, I like this area where they have some inflammation, mm -hmm. some lymphatic blockage, or somewhere here that's blocked, uh, and, and it's a good place to start a another new subdivision. And if it happens to, to happen in the brain or in pancreas, that's more dead in place, and that's when we collapse. So this process is actually threatening to happen to every single one of us. If you go to the uh, sick kids hospital, you can find small babies, small kids, they have cancer. Yes. And we have teenagers, anybody. Uh, the older people are more vulnerable to this, but uh, so this is actually, we are not immune to this. It's, it's supposed to be, it's happening to, to, uh, uh, to a lot of people, and we have to be very vigilant against this. But if you are a healthy eater, you go out and then you eat a blueberry, a goji berry, a, a kale, and then all these uh, vegetables on a daily basis, then these things, they all carry this, what we call the antioxidants. So the antioxidants, they carry this, uh, they carry this uh, electrons. And these electrons are the ones that you can, they, can, they can offer to the lost electrons. So they go out and match, give you one here, give you, who is, who is a wife? I'll give you one here, <laughs> and a girlfriend here. Now, if you're doing eight plates of vegetables or fruits and all these uh, uh, a day, then you would be almost okay. But if you miss your lunch today, 
and you, you didn't have a, a proper dinner tomorrow, on a daily basis, we are shortchanging our body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every day we are accumulating the shortage. Yeah. Every day. And that's how we don't live to 120 to 150. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So the... Uh, Sorry to interrupt you. So I want you to, when you are giving this explanation, uh, like I understand not everybody understands all this terminology, but mm -hmm. you don't give this presentation to our customers. So I want you to tell me, how is it that when you when you are introducing this to a client to talk about our products, make it easy and simple. Mm -hmm. Because even our, our, our team in the online, mm -hmm. they just want to learn. Yeah. You know, if they're new, they've never been exposed to the product. Right. How our antioxidants is going to help in their daily life. But we cannot give them all these technicalities, right? right? Because they're going to be like, oh, okay, I, I can't do that. Like, I can't yeah. replicate who Henry is, yeah. right? Like, Henry's been having all these years of studies. But because our business is for everyone and everybody, right? Mm -hmm. We want to make it simple so that they can understand it. Okay. So you can take me through that. So we yeah. Can go Who has through. a flyer right now? A flyer. A brochure. Yeah, brochure. So that's the point where I am coming to. So now, if you are not eating eight plates of vegetables a day, then this is the solution. Hello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you you take this one, ten drops a day is equal to eating 1,800, right, apples or cups of apples. And that's when instead of, instead of a wheelbarrowing a few uh, partners or girlfriends, you're putting in a tray load, okay? <laughs> that's 10 times, 20 times more than <coughs> what this can do. So that's how you can rewind a lot of these uh, problems starting from the acne to inflammation to infection to different things. Right, so that that is the whole idea. Okay. Can you give it to kids? No, it's only for. Adults. Well, the company said uh, uh, we uh, we don't have enough studies on the kids, so uh, you have to uh, use no, your. No, I read about you can uh, take it if you're pregnant or kids, no. but if you guys already figured out that much about the medicine. No, no, okay, just to, oh, let me, sorry, to just to cut you off. Yeah. Uh, again, like, we're all, like right now he's giving us an explanation when it comes to fountain of life, but our product is not medicine, it's not cure oh, for no, anything, I mean, like, yeah. okay, so it's, it's, that's again product training, and yes. that's why we have a product called Every Monday, mm. so every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, actually you can ask open questions to our scientific panel. We also have a group on Facebook where people openly ask questions and I am sure that there is tons of information about regarding that do I give it to my kids. Yeah. Obviously it's completely discretional. I see many kids are taking it, right? It's not that whether it's right or wrong, it is your own decision and as a company we can't tell you yes give it or no give it, right? It is your own no, choice. I like to know what I'm giving to my kids. Yeah, like, well what you're giving say is how old are the kids have From 12. No, 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 no there, we don't have, like that's what I'm saying. Know, yeah. 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 12 years old, yeah. Even our CEO, we say it. His, his son is actually eight, or he was eight when he started on Fountain of Life. And it, there is no problem, right? It's a natural product. So there is no chemicals or ingredients added to it. So you can be confident on that. Yeah. All right. Okay, can I bring out the other fire? Yes. Yeah, so as, uh, as we, we said, uh, the, our Fountain of Life is an antioxidant. So it does, it deals with the free radical damage, the oxidative stress in our body. It's not a cure, it's not, uh, uh, so yeah, we, we don't uh, claim anything, but uh, it helps with uh, the free radical uh, damage control. And that's how it works. Now, uh, okay, this comes to some, some other uh, aspect of our business, which is uh, the recruiting part. And uh, we, we all find this, uh, um, very difficult for some people, but I would like to share some ideas uh, just with you. The, uh, okay, so uh, for me, I think the first point I would like to make is uh, to uh, to make a choice of in your in your networking business. Num the number one thing is to make a good choice of a company where. If you, if, uh, is, we also say a good choice is better than great efforts. Sometimes we, may, we, we can be working at a restaurant, we, we uh, work 24 hours a day, but we can still be making very limited, limited income, right? With this one, with uh, let's say the, uh, the, our company, Opinance, 
we can potentially make how many? Up to three minutes. <laughs> up to three minutes. So, so yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a choice that you make. But how do you make that choice? The choice is you have to, you have to base it on, uh, I, I call it the five elements, which is very essential. So number one, you know, our company, we have, uh, uh, as we say, 14 years of uh, uh, grand history, right? So that gave us a, a comfort in how long the company is going to, to last. Because sometimes when you do with a startup company, they might, uh, they might go south sometime uh, yeah, for different reasons. So we have a stable company. Number two, you have to have a good product. The product has to be powerful. Effective, right? So that uh, and uh, do we agree on that? Yes. yes. Right. So number three, uh, we have to have a good price. Yep. The most of the uh, networking companies, the the product is uh, it's more expensive. I mean, it's uh, usually it take about uh, one hundred fifty dollars monthly monthly uh, spending to uh, have a monthly one month supply or more. Mm -hmm. So that is, that make, make our price very competitive. It is, it's uh, so affordable, we only need to, um, uh, it, this can be given to anybody. Anybody who is, uh, uh, let's say, in the, um, uh, whatever they do, even they are sweeping the floors, doing anything, they can afford uh, to use it and then, uh, and then market it as a, as a product. Number four is the opportunity. If somebody, somebody came to talk to me yesterday about some company where they are 25 years old in the, in the industry or in the business, uh, for me that's a little too old. Mm -hmm. Our company, this, especially with the introduction,